Alright, this one's gonna be a quick run through of uh, how you would apply themes on KDE. There's a lot of GNOME users that they come on KDE and they expect it to be the same thing. You know how you apply uh, GTK themes. It's not the same thing, folks. Uh, there's actually more stuff you have to do on KDE to apply themes, okay? Because they have uh, plasma themes, they have widget styles, they have colors, they have a lot of these stuff. So I'm gonna <laughs> cover some of them here. So let's bust out your settings here. And we'll start over here in the application appearance. Uh, so the first thing is they have styles. And you see right here where it says widget styles. Uh, don't confuse this with like screenlets or plasmoids or what else they call it, I don't know. But it's not that. This one is widget style. And basically, uh, how would I describe this? So let's say you have a GTK app. It looks shit on... Um, you know KDE then you would actually go and use widget styles and they have some other styles like you know GTK styles or whatever um, or you're using like a, a um, what is it, a QT app uh, and it doesn't look nice or whatever and then you can actually go and use some of these other ones that has QT and you can actually uh, make it look like it's native application on your KDE system uh, so that's the good thing about styles all right and let me show you some examples. If you change it to this and apply it, it looks kind of different, right? Uh, same thing with physique here, I think. There you go. So it's actually using like different toolkits, I believe. I don't know. Let's go back to Oxygen, though. So that's just a quick run through of that. And um, let's go on to the next one. Colors here. Um, let me give you an example. So colors are actually like themes for the applications. Uh, what I mean by that is that you see this one, it looks you know similar to this one, right? Um, when you apply the themes, let's say apply like different colors here, it makes it darker, right? Now if I go to let's say this one, it only applies to you know the application windows and everything. It does not apply to my panel down here. See my panel down here is all black. It's always going to be like that because it's actually using something else not colors is using plasma which we'll go over later but you can see that if I change to different ones uh, it does not apply to my panel because this one is only for the applications itself all right uh, and then you can do some other stuff in here you know like um, shades and, and contrast whatever colors this I guess this is like mainly for people that actually wants to make like um, you know detailed changes uh, maybe for artists or designers that they want to get into the details of how they want the, their system to look like and you have a lot of options here like views the windows the buttons they give you a preview down here you know how it look like so if you want to be uh, you know or you want to make a theme or something go in here and then apply all the colors and everything and save it and um, yeah that's, that's how you would create a theme uh, and here, inactive, I believe this is just like how the windows will look like if it's inactive. They give you a little preview here, like as always. Same thing with disable. This is how it looks like if you disable it. Alright. Uh, most of us, we're just going to use this part here and, you know, just apply our, our themes and that's it, right? Um, if you want to get more, uh, this is get new schemes here. And this is getting from, uh, or it's pulling from, I think, kdlook.org or either um, opendesktop.org. Uh, Basically, you just hit install, you know, that's all you gotta do. Uh, so that's it for that. And then you go to icons. Um, basically, everyone should know this icons, right? If you wanna do some other stuff with it, then you can do it, like different effects for. Uh, active and inactive folders when you click on them I guess all right they has all this stuff in here you want to get more themes they, it's the same thing uh, they, they're pulling from uh, the online website I think this one's from uh, kdlook.org but basically you install it not a big deal there right and then choose the one you want and apply it fonts uh, this is where you uh, adjust or you know you know use different fonts mix and match yeah uh, you don't actually install from here if you want to install it you have to go back here and they have a font installer down here and then you add in your fonts you know if you want 
but in in here uh, this is only where you adjust um, you know how the font look like in your system uh, for toolbars menus you can have different size or whatever emoticons I think that's how you say it uh, I guess this is like for mainly chat or yeah or I am or something like that and um, they have different ones if you want to add some new ones you can do that pretty much the same process you know they give you these little box and you you download it from online uh, so that's that so that's this is mainly applied it to uh, the application itself right but let's go on to these uh, workspace appearance in here they have windows decorators um, let's try some of it here so if I use oxygen uh, well no not oxygen this is plastic here. What is this one? Apply it. You see that the the windows decorator is basically, you know, the borders around it, right? Uh, like the title bar here. It's a different stuff here. Let's do a QT curve. It's a little bit different here. Ports. Right there you go. So you see the borders a little bit different. And what else is here? Let's try KD2. If that works. Look at that. It's like uh, Windows uh, 2000 or something. <laughs> so you get the idea of what this is. Uh, let's go back. What is this one? Is this the one I use? No, not the one I use. Go back to Oxygen. There you go. So that's the Windows decorators. Basically, you know, the borders around your Windows. Cursor themes. Um, you know, basically, the one I'm using is like this blue. Uh, what is this one here? LCD blue that's what I'm using you want to get more basically uh, oh you, this one you have to install manually yourself so go into like kd look dot org whatever and look for uh, cursor themes and uh, you probably just you know import it in here and then it'll just be listed here and then you just use different ones if you want basically that's how you do it desktop themes um, this is actually referred to as uh, plasma themes when you go into like kdlook.org, um, you want to look for plasma themes. It's not going to call desktop themes, plasma themes. And plasma themes are applied to like my panels down here and even, um, let me see here, un unlock my widgets. Um, where's the widgets? All right, add widgets. Let's say I add something new, I don't know, like this clock here or something. Right, you see like uh, the borders around it, they have like the plasma themes, they're running plasma themes. So if I choose a different one, let's say, I don't know, a uh, here, you see that it turns like, uh, I don't know, what is this, gray color? Right here, my panel down here is gray also, right? So these are plasma themes or they call it desktop themes here. And that's how you would apply uh, the themes for that. But let's go back to the black because that's what I like. Splash screen, this is um, obviously when you boot up, you have the splash screen of your KD, uh, how it look like. If you want to get new ones, then you just you know do the same stuff and you'll get uh, a new uh, splash screen for KDE. So that's pretty much how you would theme in, um, you know, in KDE. They make it really easy because everything is pulled from the internet. Uh, not like in, in GNOME, they don't really have nothing in GNOME by default and uh, it's more confusing to new users this one is actually makes it a little bit easier in my opinion because everything is laid out here uh, so all the options that you need for theming is just either in the application appearance or in the workspace appearance all right so that's a quick rundown if I get some good questions I might go into some detail on some of them but uh, at the moment um, that's how you would theme stuff on KDE pretty easy